everybody welcome to the fire it up with cj show we are on the final part four with alka Scholz, the author of anxiety warrior and today she's going to be sharing with us two techniques um uh, tack, tapping calming technique and five senses and in the segment three we were talking about all the different um, layers of anxiety sources of anxiety and what kinds of things we can do some of them which are very simple things like drink more water take some more supplements when you know you're going through a stressful time turn your phone off um, <laughs> and then these are ones and, and you at the tail end of that um, interview in, in part three you'd said you know part of it is you know our body can deal with stress and anxiety at, you know, and you talked about a 10 point scale, zero being like very calm, 10 being very anxious. You know, when you're at the two to three level, you're probably okay. And, and so these are techniques, I presume, that get you from like maybe an eight to nine to a two to three. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. And you know what, um, CJ, what we really want to do is uh, get those strategies going before we get to that eight, nine, 10. Right. Um, we definitely. So the, just to remind everybody is when you start feeling uncomfortable, that's when you want to pull out these strategies. And right. uh, we've mentioned lots, um, though we're going to um, focus on a, a couple here. And one of them, and, and I know um, we, we presented it a little bit, was this tapping. Your feet, and yeah, so in a meeting. So what we can do is we can, um, you can do a shoulder tap like this very gently. We can tap, um, well, side to side. <laughs> yeah, so it's um, just like, you know, you're yeah, tapping yeah. your knee side Absolutely. to side. Yeah. Um, and um, um, you can also tap your toes back and forth. As long as it's bilateral, uh, what you're doing is actually stimulating the neural pathways. So what you want to do when you're doing this tapping is um, focus on, you know, where have you felt calm in your life? So was it on a holiday? Um, you know, perhaps uh, it's something you have in at the present. Maybe it's it's your own room. So we start, and I'm just going to really go through this. So just focusing on your breath as you're tapping. And I'm closing my eyes. I always close mm -hmm. my eyes when I do Me this too. with clients. Um, so if you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Or even do half eyes, like the soft eyes. And just start focusing on your breath. So not particularly needing to change the breath, just noticing it. So noticing the breath, how it changes in your body. So as you breathe in, notice how your body uh, reacts to that. So your shoulders may rise, perhaps your chest and your belly. So just really following your breath in your body. So then as you've done that, then uh, uh, now picture a place where you just feel like, oh, I can just sink in and just relax and let my muscles get warm and they kind of expand and kind of relax a bit. So where could that place be? So just kind of taking a moment and thinking about that place. Perhaps it's a vacation place. Perhaps it's, you know, some people have a favorite chair. Perhaps it's in your garden. So just thinking of where that place is for you. So just taking a moment and what you want to do is think about any smells that perhaps come with that place. Perhaps sounds. What are the sensations on your skin? Maybe there's a time of day that that's associated with this memory. Just being in that place and just going through your senses. Maybe there's a taste that goes with that. And just noticing your body relaxing. 
So this is your calm place. And we'll, we'll come out of it now in this exercise. Just know though that you can tap as long as you like. You can stay and visit this place as often as you like. And the interesting thing that you're doing is actually you're strengthening the memory for your body. And so just when you're ready, bring your attention back. <laughs> Ah, okay, so those are the five senses when you're thinking about which uh, each of the five, five senses in your happy place. Well, that, that one actually has another, that's actually another strategy. So the oh, tapping, okay. the tapping um, as we practice yes. that, and right. we're, we're strengthening the neural pathways, mm -hmm. the cool thing about this one is, and there's many in the book that I've, I've, um, I've written about, um, so whatever we've got time for, but, um, the cool thing is, let's say, and you, you mentioned this, you know, let's say you're going in for a meeting and you've got to make a presentation or perhaps, um, right now shopping isn't so easy. So we can practice this at home. And then just before you go somewhere, or enter a room or, or a place, you can just um, just gently tap your sides and people don't even notice it and your body just with a breath will you bring your uh, memory right there right because so you put the neural pathways of knowing that this means calm so like a Pavlovian right. response you're doing this and and because calm. you're calming because you're um, you've associated that memory with the calm place, you can recall that very quickly. Uh, so you need to practice. So the more you practice, that stronger, um, the pathway will be stronger so that when you go out, then you can just tap, tap and think calm place and boom, you're right there and your body will relax. It, it really mm. does work, it's mm. very cool. So, okay, so we talked about um, yeah. talked about mental checklists. Um, we're talking about listening to your body sensations. Is that something different? Well, the um, we did want to talk. Well, there's a few, but um, the one that um, um, that is very cool is five senses, and that um, that one's. I don't think we talked about that. No, no. Um, I'd love for you. You actually said that you would like to step us through this. Yeah. So can you take us yeah. through this five senses? Yeah. And it's really easy to remember. And it's something you can teach children. It's a great exercise. And you just go, you really go through your senses. So, um, so what you do is um, you focus on um, uh, looking at three things and describe them very basic. Then um, you go through um, touch. And so you touch, you know, something very different and right. like this. And then, right. and then, you know, touching right. so very <laughs> different surfaces. Right. Um, then um, listening, you know, try to identify three sounds. And what would that be? Um, yeah, so for example, I hear like a buzzing outside my window. I heard your voice. And then I hear, um, I hear like within that buzz, there's a, 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 a constant buzz and like a high ringing. So I'm kind of figuring out how far, close, far, where it is, the, the nature of the sound. Yeah, very cool. And then the other one is, of course, um, taste. Taste, okay. um, And taste, I mean, instead of maybe there's three sensations you can figure out with taste um and then um, which one did i leave out oh i uh, we haven't done smell so right. smell can also be you know things that you have and and uh, paper even um well even a book has smell yeah hmm. you know so you can just smell three different things and um so what we've done sometimes for children and adults like this too we make a sensory bag so that's kind of cool um, uh, and you go through your five senses and uh, what happens with that is it brings you back to present. And, um, 
So a strategy of being present in this moment does help um, alleviate anxiety. And uh, five senses is a lovely way to get there. And um, I, I'd like to give a little variation on that. You, sure. can, take, you can take one, one of the senses and just do it for two minutes. So um, perhaps it's eating an apple, um, you know, going through that whole um, idea of uh, crunching the apple, chewing it, smelling it, touching it, um, really getting involved in the apple, or perhaps it's making a cup of tea, um, really getting involved in the idea of the, the sensory experience of that cup of tea. Um, so you can take and isolate that. And it can be quite lovely. And again, bringing us back to the current moment, which is perfect. Right. I love it. Okay. And there's, and we've only, we talked about um, a whole bunch of strategies um, in, throughout these whole par, um, parts. And, the, and in the book, there's 19 different strategies in here. So there's many more strategies. Oh, more, in the book. Really? more than 19. Okay. More than that. Oh, there's oh, yeah, there's, um, 25. <laughs> I yeah, don't know how many, a lot. Yeah, there's, um, um, yeah, there's lots because what happened is each um, chapter we put in uh, strategies. I haven't even counted them all yeah um yeah I, uh, there's lots I, okay I, so the I book is riddled say, with strategies. i don't think i don't know if there's a hundred but there certainly is a lot there okay and i think actually the key thing is what i've noticed with anything is that you do one thing and then it doesn't work anymore you get bored with it so it's nice to actually have a whole bunch of different things to try um my son um we went through and we, I told him about this. He's like, I'm not going to do that. But he was okay. Look, there's this thing on the phone that actually has his visual, his eye cues going back and forth. And so he was okay with doing that. Or nice. there's um, the music that does EMDR music. So it goes back yep. and forth and stimulates on the he his headphones right and left. And so he was willing to do that. And But I think you, you in some ways, actually having all these strategies is super helpful because I have found for myself, like some of these things, they just, you get bored with it or they don't work anymore. I don't know why they don't work, but they don't. So you try it and do something else. So um, it has been so lovely talking to you. I've, I've learned so much about anxiety that we talked about in the first segment, um, all the different types of anxieties. Um, in, in this segment, talking about the different sources of um, uh, the 11 layers of anxiety. And then with this strategy and throughout even our whole conversation, we have a whole bunch of different strategies to try. Thank you so much, Elka. This is super helpful. Anxiety Warriors, a book. It sounds fantastic. Um, appreciate your time. Thank you. My, pre my pleasure. So a privilege. Thank you.